Welcome back, guys. Uh, as promised, this is the new Manjaro Enlightenment. Um, it's. I don't believe I've tried any distribution with an Enlightenment desk desktop before. Uh, it does not look familiar. Uh, if you're familiar with it, then more than likely you'll enjoy it because Manjaro uh, puts out a great product. But uh, let's go through a couple things and see if we can explore a little bit together. And at least I'll give you an idea of what you can expect if you download Manjaro Enlightenment. Of course, you've got the uh, update, Manjaro update in the bottom right. My system is up to date. Then I've got my network connections. Uh, as usual, it configured my, my Ethernet and my wireless straight out of the box. Uh, then I've got the uh, icon for Simple Screen Recorder, which for some reason Kazam did not run properly. So Simple sc Screen Recorder is running no problem at all. Then you've got your US keyboard. Uh, all settings are US default basic. I haven't changed anything on the desktop. Uh, then you've got the uh, battery indicator um, which is a power management uh, icon and so that's where you'll you'll do your power management uh, and it says begin moving gadgets I believe these are called gadgets so you can move them around on the uh, dock then we have a clock we have the uh, the volume setting which operates with the uh, keys on the keyboard as you can see this appears to be a temperature uh, setting 27 degrees Celsius there's my programs running simple screen recorder and GUVC view uh, this is a Firefox this is a terminal they call it terminology it's a terminal program that's the icon to activate your terminal. Then these are your spaces for your desktop and your menu. Now, if you go up to applications and accessories out of the box, comes with archive manager, elementary test, equate, and a text editor, mouse pad. Preferences, Adobe Flash, default applications for LX session. So that's where you would set up your uh, programs to, to start automatically. Uh, elementary configuration, a Manjaro settings manager, network connections, and privilege granting. Now, if I go into Manjaro settings manager, it is the uh, typical one that you're probably already familiar with. And as far as the kernel, it's running 4.1.12-1 it is the recommended kernel if we go back to the uh, menu programming uh, you get the usual these are usually these usually come with it I don't use any of them uh, graphics there's just a document viewer and e-photo I haven't added anything uh, internet, you've got a SSH server browser, VNC server browser, and uh, Firefox. Sound and video, I installed GUVC View and Kazam. Simple screen recorder and SM player. So it didn't come with much out of the box. Came with MPV and uh, QT test utility. For Office, there's just a document viewer, system tools, add remove software, uh, zero conf browser, a file manager, gparted, software update, and terminology. If we go up to Enlightenment file manager, this is the file manager that you get out of the box. It's pretty rudimentary, uh, but it has everything listed. All your places are on the left. And then you've got your files and your folders. This is the this is my folder. There's the home folder. Only one user. Uh, if you hover over it, it shows you the contents. Uh, 
It's pretty neat. Uh, who owns it? The permissions and modified. So everything looks to be uh, typical, except it's certainly in a different looking package. The desktop, uh, if you're familiar with Enlightenment, you won't have a problem. But if you're not, like me, then uh, of course you'll fumble around a little bit until you find what you're looking for. So uh, once you get to this file manager, then it's pretty easy to figure out. There are no big issues. If I right click, I can add a new directory or a file. So you've got the right click menu. Now, interestingly, on the desktop, you've got no right click, but you've got a left click menu. Brings up pretty much everything that you saw down here. Okay, so you can take a screenshot. You can change your gadgets. Uh, it's There are two virtual desktops and there are shelves now. If I believe these are the shelves and you can add uh, to that, you can add applications to the shelves and you can add a shelf. And let's see if we can uh, find out about the themes in a wallpaper. Okay, so let's go to themes. Okay, so what comes out of the box is this uh, dark theme. That's what you have. Now, you've got you can set up your own personal themes, and then you have the system themes. And I believe that's just uh, a function of where your themes folder is. If you create a dot themes folder in your home uh, folder then they'll show up as personal. If you're using the theme folder dot themes folder in user share, uh, then they'll show up as system. And basically it differentiates between differentiates between themes you personally, the user, whoever is logged in, have access to and what themes everyone on the system has access to. So let's take a look at the system themes. There's the default. We've got, let's see if we can expand this. Well, I'm not seeing any way to expand that window. So we will leave it alone. Okay, so you've got the Manjaro, uh, looks like it's a black theme. Then you've got another Manjaro theme. You've got an Enlightenment theme with the Manjaro logos. And then you've got this brighter theme. I think I'm going to take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like it changed the uh, look of the desktop. As you can see, everything took on a, a light feel, a light look to it. So we will apply, okay, okay. So we'll leave that for now. And as you can see, everything is much brighter. It's not the dark theme, except the wallpaper hasn't changed. So let's see if we can find the wallpaper setting. And it looks like we have a variety of wallpapers. And these are wallpapers that I haven't seen before. Uh, evidently they're default wallpapers for just the Enlightenment version. So let's take a look at what we have and then we'll select one. And as you can see, there are a lot of themes available.
and let's try that. Okay, so now that takes on a much lighter feel. Uh, you've got Firefox installed out of the box. And as usual, uh, everything seems to work very well. I see no problems at all with it. It's just a matter of getting used to it. And uh, it depends on your personal preference. Um, it's probably not something that I would use on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean really anything because everything is based on personal preference. So if you are familiar with Enlightenment and you enjoy using Enlightenment, this would certainly be something that you would want to try. So that is the uh, Manjaro Enlightenment uh, desktop. I'm going to take a look at the i3 next so you'll see another video so uh, guys uh, as usual please rate comment and subscribe uh, take care and i will see you soon guys